all right y'all welcome back to the channel and today another guy for you guys for final fantasy 7 ever crisis so today is going to be the top things you should not be sleeping on in this game to better your account so hopefully you guys enjoy subscribe to the channel like it up comment below it definitely helps me out a lot and it lets me know that these guides are actually helping you guys out or actually helping somebody out because you know i don't want to keep doing these and you know i'm not really helping anybody so but let's dive right into it so the chocobos the chocobos are very important you know and i will tell you why so as you guys, as you guys can see i got three chocobos i'll introduce you guys a little later but the expeditions definitely definitely do them you know do not sleep on it. it's afk you know it's free free stuff right so uh you do start with only one for two you have to pay 500 gems you know so it's not really that bad you know and the third is 1500 which this one is you know pretty expensive right i highly advise at least unlock the second one i would say the third one too but you know as you guys can see i haven't unlocked it you know i gotta you know take my own advice but i am free to play i haven't spent any money in the game and i know for free to play players it's hard to just like you know give up your gems on you know just on something that's not a character right or you know you not summoning on anything so but i get it i'll most likely unlock this anyways because i'll show you guys so you know when you first start you you start off with Medigar one and here's the rewards you know nothing really you know like you know game breaking right so you got to keep doing this up until you explore 75 percent so you want to just do all these missions and do it again up until you get 75 then you'll unlock midgard 2 you know and i'm already at 70 70 percent i think once i get up to 75 maybe midgard 3 will come up so but here are the rewards right and it gets better so we get this materia booster which is very important because materia is going to be the end game gear system in this game i feel like because yes the weapons right you know the weapons are gotcha so they're important but the materia is going to be that thing that will make your team comp complete right because you know as you can see now uh different materia we got the physical and magical and we got the like the ruin blows to interrupt the um the bosses so definitely the material is going to be crazy and especially if you look into the dungeon um exchange or shop you'll see we have four star material there and they look very powerful and they're only four stars so definitely these material boosters you can't farm them anywhere you have to get them from the expeditions and you can also buy them in i think the dungeon shop also but you can't farm these anywhere else except buying them off uh, or not buying them off here but uh getting them off chocobo expeditions and buying them on a dungeon shop so uh so yeah they do give us uh material boosters what's it called yeah material boosters uh you know once you you know keep playing the game they'll gradually give you rewards for you know doing this and that i don't i really don't know what <laughs> you just you just keep playing the game they'll they'll give it to you and uh yeah uh you can either use them now you know i actually been using them or you use them later because you can use other material to level up your material but i highly advise not to do that yet because we're still in early to mid game and we really need all the material that we can get so i highly advise to unlock ex you know the second tab at least right so how you do this you go to ex expeditions you go select right hopefully it doesn't kill okay so right now i'm doing zach um so yeah and the traits here we go gill rate up 3.5 percent rate drop rate 3.5 you know chocobo metal rate up just to here seven percent xp you do get xp so this is a you know a little bit of a good you know F afk farming right 
And then if you look at the rank, this is only rank H, right? And uh, this is my fellow newbie right here because this was my first chocobo as you know everyone will get I call him newbie and then you can you can see I have another rank H one uh, I bought him in the shop because I mean uh, it was one of the jump reward missions I think it was called the little starter missions to get your um, five star weapon ticket so I just bought him he was like what five ten chocobo uh coins so so he's percentage is not really that great except for you know um xp rate up you know i feel like uh the the percentages and the stats are rng when you buy them you can't look at the stats they, they won't show you so when you buy them it's pretty much rng so in the future we kind of want to keep buying chocobos and see if we can get the right you know stamina intellect adaptability and the traits or whatever but here is the difference on the g so these i feel like these are rank uh from you know h you know g f um you know d c b a i don't even know my damn alphabet anymore <laughs> so look from h to g but this is g plus so i'm gonna get a little bit more uh, percentages i guess so a little bit better than the g right so 17.5 gill rate up rare drop rate 70.5 percent chocobo metal rate up 35 percent xp rate up 30 percent and it's crazy and max items she can i guess you can get is seven so this is you know definitely you want to save these coins up and buy more chocobos of better rank right but the stats here we will get into um chocobo stable all right there you go so my boy newbie here chocolate 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 <laughs> i don't even know the all my own name of my chocobo and uh gg right here i call it gg because i'm gg plus so yeah with my chocobos but um yeah so you know the genders there uh rank of the chocobo's performance h and the field altitude which is this and you will see this on expedition for midgar so this chocobo specializes in midgar all right i'll show you guys uh in a minute but speed affects uh the time for the expedition obviously stamina is the amount of expedition rewards obtained intellect is obtained rare items or chocobo medals on expeditions and adaptability is the amount of xp the character gains so so yeah definitely you want to do these you know especially if you're farming for a certain character if you get a, a good chocobo that sees a lot of xp definitely man so this field right here or this little field thing that chocobos have um it affects which um expedition you want to go to like right here see midgar has these little icons here so these chocobos specialize um exploring midgar so i'm pretty sure it's gonna be some grassland chocobos here so uh so yeah and then yeah so you definitely want to buy those once you unlock it and uh here's the exchange here so right here is where you can buy the chocobos so here is an e plus and the e unfortunately you can't you can't see the traits and the stats you know fortunately that's pretty much the rng behind there so you kind of want to just like wish to get the one you want and then uh, i already did some refreshes because i kind of wanted to see like more chocobos but for the video let's do it again um i got a lot of gill so so i got an e plus here you know a different colored chocobo you know i only seen a brown one i'm pretty sure it's going to be more in the future uh they probably probably have more and oh so you can't refill anymore how many times did i find i think i did this up to four or five times so you only get four to five refills so keep that in mind but uh yeah definitely you you, you see even the e plus is only it's two thousand so yeah definitely you want to unlock at least the second node you know pretty pretty sure unlock you know i suggest the third node too i need to do that myself so yeah so definitely 
you know, if this is on the E plus, just imagine like, you know, B, the B chocobo, the C chocobos, the A chocobos, and if they have an S tier chocobo, like that's gonna cost a lot of chocobo coins, man. You know, and definitely the rewards is gonna be just just gonna continue to be better. So, yeah. So don't sleep on the chocobo farm, man. And then every day for refresh, we get free items. So, you know, sometimes it'll be here. Uh, yesterday it was uh, right here, I believe. And I think a couple days ago, I remember being at like right, right here. So definitely check around if you didn't, you don't see it in the same spot as last time. And it also, you know, as you do them, I forgot to mention, you do get rewards too. So it ain't like, you know, just a thing to just do for materials. So you do get uh, missions here. So as you get, guys can see, you get more gems, you know, so definitely do it man so moving on i kind of want to get into um the character growth so i see a lot of people sleeping on this as well character growth is very important especially to get stronger and raise up your power level man so right here these are all the the stats that i gained from the character nodes so i unlocked 74 i guess it's a total of 80 183 uh, so I'm getting plus 805 HP, plus 92 physical attack, plus 107 a magic attack, and uh, plus 122 on heals. And uh, definitely uh, watch, watch where you go also, because it's some like here. Like, do I really want magic for Cloud? Right? You know, I haven't really actually didn't even pay attention on that until I actually kind of like looked at. <laughs> really paid attention with the nodes so don't do what i do but make sure you watch where you're going you don't have to unlock every node at this point you know i feel like in the future if you want to go back and unlock everything which i'm probably going to do you know uh so yeah definitely because i'm building cloud as physical so i want to get more physical on them like right here it costs these memories right and memories are very hard to get so and um you can't really farm them that much and i will get into that in a minute so this costs 15 just to do these three so i'll gain i'm at 100 107 and these will take me 131 but i do not want to build cloud on magic attack i don't know why i backed out uh so yeah definitely watch where you're going like here i want to go here right and it costs me 15 nodes and these power pieces and then you know you, you can farm the power pieces all day long so power pieces are not really that you know they're important but they're not scarce right and then you do you you do have a choice to unlock the um, limit breaks so if you go down here um oops i can just go here you do have an option to do the limit break too so you go here and you got to complete all these little missions for it and it does cost 10 so you go here deliver 10 and you'll you know you'll pretty much be done with that and deliver these low grade steals then you'll be done with that 10 gil and then you got to use clouds limit break one 10 times so it's pretty much easy but it does cost these 10 nodes and you're guess you're saying like oh it's only 10 nodes but i'm telling you it adds up but the other tip i want to give you guys to focus on one limit break because you do have an option to level them up like here if i go here it costs 20 nodes or 20 memories i keep saying nodes and uh a bunch of these things right here but like i said you can farm these anytime you want um so yeah so it'll bring me up to level four and it'll um it'll boost me up to 1600 uh, percent on physical damage but uh but yeah so i have a uh, level three and it's 14 uh 1400 percent so definitely work on one you know if you want to unlock and see it you know be my guest but you know you do not want to waste your memories you know carelessly so but yeah uh, especially read read the um, the second limit break and see if you can uh, incorporate that in your team comp and make your team comp better. And if it doesn't, you know I would just work on one. You know, but if you do unlock that, 
still will make sure to work on one. Like I said, these memories are not um, farmable, really. And I say that because it's in these premium quests. And you only get three a day, I want to say. Three a day. So here are the memories here. So you can you can farm. It's farmable, but you only get so much per day. And then these are important too because these are for the weapons. So these are to get your um, unlock your weapons to from level 50 to 60. And these are this one right here is from 60 to 70. And I haven't had a weapon to 80 yet, but pretty sure this one will unlock. The level cap from 70 to 80 so these weapons are i want to you know these materials for weapons i would say is more important to grind instead of the memories at um yet because they do give us uh, memories but not a lot you know not enough to complete the character nodes so keep that in mind so when you do these premium quests I would I would farm only the weapon um, the weapon materials you know for now at least you know up until we can get to that point that we can clear all the content and you know you, you know why not you know farm these at a you know in a point right but you know we will gradually get more weapons and weapons so the grinding is never gonna stop so you kind of want to just kind of tell yourself you know what's important and then kind of determine that but I feel like the weapons are gonna be you know most important right so uh yeah and uh the last thing too is for the memories you can actually get some when you do the battle tower so the battle tower is actually very important too because they give you a lot of the rewards to you know to gain more character growth right so right here you know as you can see they give me earth red 13s and zacks if i finish uh floor or i guess you could what's this b26 basement 26 i don't know um so yeah and don't be scared to do it i mean it doesn't cost stamina so right here i was able to clear the boss at 67,400, and i was only at 62,000. yeah 62,000. just had 62,000. so don't be afraid to do it uh i just actually cleared it a couple hours ago and i haven't tried 27 i'm pretty sure i can most likely clear this and probably clear this so because i mean these are not boss enemies so they'll be a little bit easier but 29 will probably be yeah i i, I need i need to get stronger but uh i'll attempt it just to, to see just to see where i'm at so definitely do these it does give you the memories and uh to you know get your power low level you know up so and um so yeah man that's all pretty much i got today for you guys you know material guy will be coming soon you know definitely you know i guess an extra tip before i end the video make sure you do these synthesis sy synthesis <laughs> make sure you do these every time you know one runs out you know keep doing it because you always have a chance to get a level three you know you know i haven't got a level four yet so yeah definitely do it um you know you do we do get these items to you know get a better chance but i will get get into that for another video so yeah definitely so, you know i feel like expanding these are i, I want to say are very important too if you want to get stronger fast and get better better material for end game so that's uh, an extra tip for you guys before I get into the actual guide. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy, man. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Let me know if I helped you out in any way. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.